Hey guys, how's it going? If you haven't seen the recent vlog I posted, the, the, the very last video that I posted, you know, before this one. If you haven't seen that vlog, really it's nothing exciting, nothing you need to go run see. It's really all over the place. But I did say that I had some new stuff coming up for you guys and I had a lot of hauls. So um, I didn't really know what to start with because I've had kind of a good bit of hauls recently. So one of the hauls that I'm very much excited about is my ColourPop haul. I love ColourPop, but usually ColourPop can do absolutely no wrong. And for the most part, I I don't have anything bad to say about these items. I don't really have anything bad to say about these things at all. And I used a lot of them. I tried to use the most that I could doing my makeup today so you could kind of see. And I filmed the process of myself applying the makeup with the color pop haul that I did. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so first I think I'm gonna start with eyeshadow palettes. Um, I got, I picked up three. I picked up the You Had Me At Hello palette, the Zodiac palette, and the Mar palette. In case you didn't already know, the Zodiac palette is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop and I love everything she does. So of course I had to pick this up. And the You Had Me At Hello palette just had like the colors that I typically reach for so I grabbed that one as well and it had a nice mirror um, I'm gonna show them to you in just a minute and the Mar palette is like it's kind of a set it's soul and Mar are the palettes that they come up with and this one is like blues and the other one is red and they were supposed to be these summer palettes I probably would have picked up soul because it's really pretty and ColourPop eyeshadows are always like incredible like there's nothing ever negative to say about ColourPop eyeshadows but you know when you're on a budget <laughs> I had to choose between the two and I gravitate more towards blues and it had a bunch of neutrals in it so I figured that this one would suit me the best between the two now the Mar palette I did not use this on my eyes today I have used this once before though and I did a like a really colorful crazy look with it and it was when I had the braids I'll insert a picture right here i was just playing around with makeup and i did like a really pretty blue purpley halo eye and i used the blues and a couple of shimmers in the palette and in my opinion it turned out really pretty i was like super super satisfied with this palette okay so i used both the you had me at hello palette and this is the inside of this i used this one and the zodiac palette to do my eyes today Okay, so this is kind of difficult to show like this. There's like, there's plenty of different varieties of eyeshadows, enough for me to create a full look with each palette, obviously, but I kind of wanted to showcase both of them as I was talking about them today. And I used the, let's see, and I used the Taurus shade in the Zodiac, and this brown, this purple, and this purple I used those colors in as my transitions and into my crease shade and then I just popped with my finger on really quickly I just took this really pretty shimmer shade down here in the bottom of the you had me at hello and for the gradient in between the purples and the shimmer shade I used this Scorpio the Scorpio shade right here everything turned out really pretty I think everything blended really nice it was really smooth I mean just like basic color pop shadows the shimmers were like bam in your face gorgeous and the mattes were very pigmented blendable you know all the good stuff I did do a really pretty look for my birthday it was a orangey blown out look with the Aries and I thought it turned out really pretty. If I have a picture, I'll insert it right here, but I don't know if I have one or not. Um, I'll have to see. But all of these palettes are super cheap. And honestly, if you're new starting out the makeup, ColourPop is probably the way to go because a palette like this, well, the one with the mirrors, they're 18, but there's plenty of these palettes that don't have the mirrors and they're 16. And this right here was, I think $12. It was like eight or twelve dollars I don't know but it was really cheap so if like you're new starting out to makeup and you don't have like a lot of eyeshadows I would probably look into the ColourPop palettes because if you find a palette that has you know a lot of the colors that you're interested in trying out and they have a lot of different varieties it would definitely be worth the money to pick one of these up and try them out because they're not gonna steer you wrong I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick this up or not but if you hear like a loud buzzing outside it's like a really a really large truck in the distance I've got my window open and the camera's right next to the window because it's like super nice outside oh yeah did you notice I matched the Sephora bag uh, uh. <laughs> 
Okay, so next is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent. Translucent, and this is in the shade Translucent, and I really like this. I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to call it like a favorite powder or anything, but I mean, this thing is it's a good powder. It <laughs> It doesn't make my under eyes look like crepey or anything. I like it. it's it's smooth. It sets everything nice. Like it doesn't do anything that you don't want a powder to do. But it also doesn't any but it also doesn't do anything to like wow my butt off. You know what I mean? There was a period of time because I have been gone for a few months. There was a period of time that I was working at a warehouse for a little bit for just a few weeks. Um, I think it was like a month or something like that. But regardless, I was working at a warehouse and I was trying out different different concealers and powders every day because all I would do is like concealer and uh, mascara and then that would be it because I had to go in so early. My everyday powder that I normally use is the NYC Smooth Translucent Powder. I think that's what it's called. So I was using that every day for a while and then I decided to switch it up to see if I could tell if there was a difference when using the powders and I tried this out for a day with the same concealer and everything and my makeup looked like insanely greasy by the end of the day like it didn't hold up as long as my other powder but it was also a 12 hour shift inside a hot warehouse so i mean it's, it still did pretty good and i'm not sure if you hear that or not there my dog is snoring in the background i'm gonna stink for doing this but this is the guy that's snoring sweet mister this is Mr. and he's very, very old and he's taking a nap. So I'm going to go put him back so he doesn't get grumpy at me. So if you do hear some snoring, that's what it is. And I hope it doesn't bother you because he's a sweet, innocent old man. And I love him so much. Mm, my hands do stink now. He needs a bath. Ugh. Alrighty then. I probably should have mentioned these when I was talking about the eyeshadows, but oh well. These are the Supernova eyeshadows, and these are specifically the ones in collaboration with Kathleen Lights with ColourPop, and they're beautiful. I, I'm a big fan of the ColourPop Supernova shadows. I think they're really... Oh, I actually, I got another one. I forgot. I ordered this one off the clearance and I forgot to add it. Hold on one second. Ooh, I can't believe I forgot about this one. I think I completely forgot I had this and I want to use it. This one is not a collaboration with Kathleen Lutz, but it's a beautiful supernova shadow. And of course, I'm going to insert 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 swatches for you. So this one right here is Astrology and it's like a really... It's like a bright gold yellow, like a yellow gold. And it's like, it almost leans more towards the green. Now these colors are beautiful, don't get me wrong. Like they're absolutely stunning and beautiful, but they're not colors that I reach for. I go for like pinkies and browns and purples and blues, stuff like that. But the golds and the green and stuff is not something that I reach for like a lot. But when I do, this is something really pretty to have in my collection. And if you're into these kind of colors, Supernova shadows are extremely like bam, blinding. So overall, the formula seems to be about the same you know, for all of them. They've got a really nice Supernova eyeshadow formula. They're really blinding and beautiful and they stay all day on the eyelids. So this one, this like goldy bright yellow green is Astrology. And this one is also in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is Constellation. When ColourPop released their Supernova shadows, I know that Kathleen Lights said this too, but I kept waiting for this to come out like a color like this, like a pinky, champagne, like just, just like, just the kind of color you would expect, you know, for something like this. And they weren't doing it. And I was like, ColourPop, what are you doing? And then Kathleen Lights released this and I like, I screamed like, I, so excited this i use this all the time when i want like a really fast really pretty cut crease i'll use this when i just want like a super bright wash on the lid i'll use this and it never does me wrong ever ever i love it so much like this is my favorite supernova shadow and this guy this is the mothership the mothership guys and it's beautiful again uh, as i've said i gravitate towards blues and i was just like in awe because i know that the supernova shadows are good so i know that this is going to be like absolutely beautiful and i can't wait I, I can't wait to use this maybe i should do like a tutorial i don't know 
Next, I picked up two Super Shock Cheek, what are these, highlighters? Yeah, highlighters. Two Super Shock Cheek highlighters. That's, that's kind of a tongue twister if you think about it. I never thought about it before, but now trying to say it out loud to you guys is twisting my talk. So obviously, obviously, I picked up the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter on the cusp, and this is the Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop. As you can tell, it's in blue, and the normal ones are in white. And if you haven't experienced a Super Shock Highlighter from ColourPop, girl, please send me a video of when you do like I need that reaction because it's gonna change stuff for you and I want to be a part of that so so these highlighters they are super blinding they have something for like every skin tone every like undertone and Kathleen Lights she came out with two and they're like absolutely blinding they blend on top of or underneath powder like today I powdered my whole face and did my bronzer and blush and then I put my highlighter on this one is on the cusp she came out with another one it was called fire but I just picked up on the cusp because this one was closer to my skin tone it's it's beautiful it's absolutely perfect I used this one on this cheek today and my highlight looks good it's really really pretty and since I got this I've been using this absolutely non-stop I think this is the perfect highlighter for me for my skin tone and it's it's not glittery it's not chunky it's just like a really nice sheen and it's a really thin formula like it feels a little more wet than the other ones they all feel wet but this one just feels it feels different for sure and it's not a bad thing I mean the other formulas are still incredible but this one is just like one step further than the rest of them you know what I mean like it's on top and the other one I picked up I was gonna get fire but I felt like that would be a bit dark for me and I saw that they had a few new super shocks on their website so I picked up thimble and it's more similar to the other the regular formulas for ColourPop it's a little bit thicker but I mean not thick in like a bad way it's just the, it's slightly more thick feeling than this buttery gooey greatness it's not crusty thick it's just a nice I mean, it's not even thick. It's just thicker, you know what I mean? But Thimble is what I used on this side of my face today. And I feel like it turned out super gorgeous. I like it a lot. I mean, I've used it once before and I liked it. But like doing the comparison with both sides, I was like, wow, okay, okay. Um, it has a little bit of a yellow undertone. And I thought that was fine because, I mean, you probably can't tell but I, I do have like a teensy smidge of a yellow undertone in me so it it works for me it doesn't look it doesn't look overly yellow it doesn't look like a streak on my face it's a really nice sheen it's not it's not glittery or anything it's like it's actual sheen and it's beautiful and wow this went by really fast because I just have one last thing to talk about and this is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in What's Your Sign and again this is the Kathleen Lights collaboration with with ColourPop obviously and this is my first Luxe lipstick that I've got they have a whole bunch of them and this is the first one that I've ever picked up and for no reason either I just haven't picked them up like I've, I've wanted some there's some colors that I've always been interested in I've just never picked them up and when Kathleen Lights releases something that like it lights a fire under my butt like I have to get what she releases because it's all amazing all the time and she does have one other color with them but again I was only picking one so I feel like this one was a lot more wearable and everyday for me I would definitely go back and repurchase the other one but this is the lipstick that I'm wearing on my lips today I'm not wearing anything underneath it or on top of it no liner no gloss it's just this plain lipstick and it's really it's opaque it's a really pretty color it's a little more warm than I expected but not warm not a bad warm it's just it's more than I expected but I actually think it's really really pretty and I think it looks great on its own but the Lux lipstick formula I don't know if all the Luxes are like this again this is the first one and the only one that I've tried but it is different from the lipsticks that I've tried. I don't know how to explain it. It just has a different formula that I'm used to for a lipstick in general. Like at first when you put it on it's like really smooth and buttery and kind of hydrating feeling almost and then 
after you wear it for a while, especially if you've been eating or drinking or something, and again, it's a, li a regular cream lipstick. It's not like a lip liquid, it's supposed to be lasting all day kind of lipstick, you know? But after I've been eating and drinking and wearing it for a while, I do have to reapply because it gets like kind of crumbly. And also I do have kind of drier lips, so that could be something to do with it. But it starts out really hydrating, but then it turns not so hydrating. So there's that, but it's still, it's a really pretty lipstick and it's only $7. And it's nothing that would steer me away from wearing it. I've worn this quite a few times and I still really like it. Okay, wow, that went by really, really fast. Normally it takes me forever to say things, but we did okay today. We did okay. I really, really enjoy all the things that I got. I love ColourPop. They are absolutely one of my favorite brands, like hands down. They're cheap, they're affordable, and they knock it out of the park almost every single time every single time and also i'm really glad to be back making videos if you're a subscriber of mine and you put up with my crap for the past few months thank you i love you so much if you are a new here there won't be as much crap to come so i would subscribe if i were you i don't know how my schedule is going to be as uploading but I am definitely going to be filming a lot more and uploading a lot more. But if you're thinking about subscribing, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. You know, go ahead. Do it. Do it. And also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. I'm super down for anything. I want to start vlogging more. Um, I was thinking about doing a clothing fall haul. I recently did like a shopping spree for my birthday. And I kind of want to try this clothes on for you because I think they're super cute. Um, but if not, I've also got some other makeup hauls going on. I shot the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so I can do that haul too. Um, I can do some makeup tutorials. There's tons of options. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stop myself right there before I ramble on for three more hours. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you with my whole heart, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. So, so. In case you didn't know, the Zodiac palette is a collaboration with ColourPop and Clapping Lines. I had to choose between the two and I gravitate. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to sling it in your face. Ah! Okay, so this is kind of... Mm. These are the Supernova. Supernova. These. These. These are the uh, Supernova. What the fuck are they? And they say gorgeous on your eye. Uh, and they say gorgeous on your eyelashes. Uh, eyelashes. <laughs> Woo! Eyelashes. <laughs> and they weren't doing it, Mister. You're snoring, baby. I love you. Uh, Okay, so I picked up two ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. No, 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 no. That's not what I picked up. The Super Shock Highlighter, you know, clearly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who did I sound like? Sophia. Wow, that went by really fast, but I really love... Did you hear that? I didn't fart. It was my arm on the table, and it's not going to do it again. Of course it's not going to do it again. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if my terror actually picked up on camera or not, but in case it did, I'm going to tell you that a bug just snuck up behind the camera. It scared me. 